Righto. I'm having some really annoying issues with my 3D printer. I'm trying to print a digger. Pretty cool. It's got hinges that are supposed to turn, but as I will explain, they don't. So, that's what it's supposed to look like. So these hinges, um, they are constructed thusly. If you can see what it see what it does, it has the center peg, and then it does a ring around it, and then the peg joins onto the arm with a bridge over the top of the ring so it doesn't join on and then the ring closes up around it so it's like a captive hinge that can be printed depositively and that works great in theory um, so let me my microscope here so this is the bucket part so that looks pretty good I mean in terms of uh, the infill it's it's all lined up. There's no ridges in between the passes. Uh, it looks looks pretty pretty damn fine. Let's get right in close. If I can get it to focus, let me just take this cap off. That'll make it a bit easier. So there's not a lot of contrast there, but you can see the individual rows of infill, and they line up pretty much perfectly. So that's a good indicator that my extrusion steps is bang on, like if it's doing, it's not really 100% indicative because it's pretty close to the beds, it hasn't had time to build up its natural layer height, but that's still pretty good, it's like layer 3, I think, um, and we go to the first hinge, and it doesn't look too bad, you can see straight through it, um, there is a bit of a, a joiny on bit here, but that's sort of to be expected on the first few layers, because the first layer tends to be more smooshed into the bed to get better adhesion and you're usually expecting to have to do a bit of tidy work to clean that up. So you could probably snap through that little joined on bit and it probably wouldn't be joined on on successive layers. Um, you notice that that's supposed to be a circle um, but it's sort of a bit um, bit cogish. And so some of that's due to the fact that it's not a true circle and it's sort of a multi-faceted circle as opposed to true circle. But it's not too bad. Um, then we'll move on to the arm. Now what the hell's going on here you might ask? It doesn't look like it's good infill. Um, so from this you could maybe think yeah, maybe the extrusion multiplier or the extrusion e-steps is a bit low uh, because it's not putting out enough plastic to fully fill up the the void. This should be a solid piece. There shouldn't be any air in here. Hmm, what's going on? And then the next hinge along is here. Oh, that one's pretty good. It's, it is a bit coggy, like it's got um, like faint rounded teeth on it. But, you know, it's not too bad. You can see down inside that crack there that it's, it's joined on. But again, that's the sort of first layer problem where the first few layers are, are too squished together for comfort. But, you know, there's a nice big clearance all the way around. That joint would probably work fine. Um, and then we go down further down the arm, and it's all, it's, it's pretty good. Like, it's its good in fill, and there's a bit of a gap there, but it's not too big a deal. Um, and then we get to this joint. What the, f what, what's going on here? I don't know if you could see it, but, like, it, it's made a complete fucking mess of it. Like, it's blobby as hell, it looks like it's put way too much plastic in there. So my first thought was this this was some sort of retraction problem, like it was um, adding too much extra length on restart when it was printing this island that it wasn't affecting the other ones for some reason. But as you can see, this is this is pretty much solid the whole way around. It's just dumping way too much plastic into this joint. What the hell's going on? I don't get it. Um, and it, it's really difficult to see if this exhibits the same cogginess as the other ones, but, you know because it's just completely crazy. Um, so I don't know if it's a factor of, like, it's it's in amongst uh, the body of the piece. So maybe um, it's doing lots of small moves, zip, 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 and it's built up a lot of nozzle pressure, and when it does that little island in the middle there, the nozzle pressure releases and it dumps more plastic than it intended, or something, I don't know. But the rest of it, looks alright. But yeah, that hinge is just, it's just a solid block of plastic. 
that ain't ever going to work. And, and I'm not quite sure what's going on. Like, we we go from oh here's a, here's another one before I had chained some stuff. So there's a clear underfill or too far from the bed on its first print. And then look at that hinge. That hinge is pretty good, but that's what you expect if you're underfilling. But um, if I can find the other one I had there, so that's that's nice infill there. And that hinge is not too bad, but it, it gets progressively worse. There's a big underfilled piece. That's not a bad hinge. And then this one is just awful. I don't really understand what's going on. I mean, this is what it's supposed to look like. But it don't. It don't look like that at all. I'm trying to work out why. Um, now, I've got my E-steps calibrated pretty well. I was printing a single wall thickness part. That's it here. I don't know if this is going to be particularly interesting to look at, but there's my, there's my test piece. And over this scale, there's almost zero Z wobble. Um, that's that's with a 0.1 layer thickness, and with a 0.1 layer thickness, with a 0.5 nozzle slicer, says that the extrusion width is 0.5 mil. And this measures to be, well, this is the most recent calibration piece I did, and it prints at me measured with a micrometer to be at about 0.475. And I put that correction factor in, and then tried to print the the digger. But you know, that that's that's nice as. Um, it is a bit blobby on the inside occasionally, for reasons unknown. But when I was measuring it, I was measuring the just the top layer, so and making sure I wasn't getting any blobs in it. So I'm my, I'm pretty sure my e steps is spot on, and I'm sure if I simply just had a lower extrusion multiplier, it would put out less plastic and I wouldn't have this problem. But that's not really what I want to do. I want to do it properly, not just fudge it. Um, it isn't a Bowden extruder. It's a, it's a Ultimaker nozzle, I think. Hang on, let me zoom out with my microscope and see if I can get any sort of sensible lookage on it. No. This is, this is the... If you sort of put some glasses on that might resolve into an image. Um, Ultimaker V3, I think. Something like that. But yeah, it's a, it's not a Bowden, it's direct drive, it's got a small hot section and just a standard i3 extruder with a high, the newer Hyena hobbed bolt for gripping. So, I, it's not a uh, uh, I'm at a loss. I'm open to suggestions. All takers, welcome. Bye-bye.